What is going on everybody? Tech enthusiast here and this is it. This is the official release of Citra emulator for Android. Now on the top you can see there are a few different styled icons. Now the heart button will take you to the premium support for Citra emulator. Now this is totally optional. You don't have to buy it. The games will play completely fine without it. But if you want to show your support and have extra features such as the dark theme and texture filters this is where you go to buy it. Now there are a lot of settings here and I think I'll leave that for a different video. The phone I am using for this video is the OnePlus 7T with the Snapdragon 855 Plus CPU. The first game is Donkey Kong Country Returns. I will start off with the default resolution then move up to 4x so we can see the performance. I do apologize for the screen flickering but unfortunately this happens when you record the screen and this only happens on a few games such as Donkey Kong Country and Pokemon Ultra Sun. Okay, so this is 4x resolution and as you can see the performance has taken a dive. Moving on to the official build, on the default resolution the game is perfectly playable. Now we're at 4x resolution and as you can see it is completely playable and we are at nearly full speed. You may notice that once you change the resolution, the other screen turns red. The way to fix that is just to press start and press start again to come back to the game. The second game is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. On the default resolution, the game is absolutely fine. Now once we're in 4x resolution, you can see the performance has taken a dive, we're at the lower 20 frames per second area. Hey. 
Now on to the official build. I have noticed that when you're using the sword for the first time while you're rolling, there are some occasional stutters. Maybe it's a setting that I didn't change, but I'm sure that will improve over time. Okay, so now we're at 4x resolution and as you can see we're at 29 frames per second pretty much throughout and that is pretty much full speed as the game is locked to 30 frames per second. Pokemon Ultra Sun Default resolution with pretty much full speed, 29 frames per second throughout. Now when I change it to 4x resolution, you can see that the performance has nearly halved. And as I mentioned earlier, the screen is flickering because of the screen recording, nothing to do with the emulator. Onto the official build and just like the MMJ build, it is full speed at the default resolution. Now when I change it to 4x resolution you can see it is pretty much full speed and the game is locked to 30 frames per second. Now the only place there is a performance dive is when there's a battle animation and because of the screen recording there are a lot of graphical bugs and this happens on both the unofficial and the official builds. So that does it for this video and as you can see the official build is better than the unofficial MMJ build. Now if you have enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up. If you are new here then please do consider subscribing as there are more videos coming up. So make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release my videos. Thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.